Hey guys, Dan from Alliance Contracting. Did you break your RV antenna off? Stay tuned on how to fix it. Here's where the factory antenna was mounted. It broke off at the shaft right here. That's where the antenna head swivels. So I just brought a utility knife, a battery leaf blower, and a battery operated drill. You gotta peel all the old sealant off to get to the screws. Typical of RV would be a square head screw but there's little tiny dimples on the edge of those squares. So a Phillips bit, a healthy one like this, make sure it's good and new, not worn out or stripped, will usually take these screws out. With the four screws out, take your utility blade and gently, I mean gently, cut on a sideways angle and go around the base, cutting the sealant, separating the base from the trailer roof. Be very careful. Once you break the seal, you can usually get under one side and gently and slowly pry up the old base. Here's where the cable connection is, and that's going to be connected to our new antenna. With the old base off, you pull this cable out, there's quite a bit of extra in the ceiling. And then I took and peeled away as much of the old sealant as I could. Here we have our new WineGuard Air 360 Plus antenna. We flip it over here, you can see it's got a disc in there so you don't have to adjust the antenna to get a signal. And right there is where we hook the cable to. You'll notice there's three extra fine wires in here. This antenna is also 4G compatible, has a Wi-Fi booster, and it's also a Wi-Fi router. I'm not going to use that function because we have a separate router and modem in the trailer were hooked up to a utility cable coming in the side of the camper. So I fed all the wires coming out of the antenna down into the coach ceiling for future access. And if you look on the back here, it says back pointing that way. So we have to install this antenna directional relative to the front and back of the coach. The antenna comes with this nice array of hardware. We're not going to use most of it, but we are going to use those screws. Once I have the antenna, the antenna where we want it, we're going to take a pencil and scribe around the circumference. It makes a faint line, it's hard to see, but now we know the general area in which our antenna is being installed to degrease and clean with some rubbing alcohol. Also don't forget to wipe this edge of the antenna down as well so the sealant will stick. So where my pencil marks were, I put a nice bead of silicone sealant. The directions recommend using a butyl tape, but I'm gonna use the silicone so it conforms to the roof better, and it'll form a seal underneath the flange on the antenna. So we just lower the antenna down, and push it till the silicone starts to ooze out under the flange. Use the provided 5 16 screws to fasten the antenna to the roof. Once the antenna is secured to the roof, use a self-leveling lap sealant around the edge of the flange to further seal it. Don't be bashful with the lap sealant. You don't want to risk any type of leaks. The way I look at it is not everyone can see up on your roof, so who cares what it looks like as long as it's functional. So on the inside of the coach, I just left the factory antenna base and knob used to rotate that knob to rotate the TV antenna. With the new 360 plus antenna you don't need to do that. It's omnidirectional. So I just left that on there to finish off the inside. So that pretty much wraps up the install. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.